Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about our new topic. Uh, that is how to install our new like uh, install and set up for Cypress and my SQL in your system. Okay, this the, these two things how we can able to install and also what all the things are required prerequisite. We are already seen that previous video sessions like how to install for Selenium, like not Selenium Cypress into your system. Right for that requirement, we can we need required for Node.js. We required for Node.js, and then we need for npm. Okay, npm it will by default when you install for Node.js by default it will comes to you. That's not don't worry about it. Okay, and then uh, we we can uh, require for Visual Studio code editor okay then cypress okay uh, and also we required for mysql okay this is also one of our main requirement because we need to communicate with our uh, this particular service right uh, microsoft uh, mysql place that is the reason we are going to using this one okay now one by one we'll see okay how to install node.js I showed already so many times in so many video places, but still uh, we are going to looking for this, okay? Because who is coming for newly in this video uh, one and they, their purpose I'm going to do for this all the things, okay? Don't feel the bad, okay? In the last, you can able to see SQL Server installation, okay? And also set up into the project level. And here is a Node.js, just you need to click it here and you need to select for Windows Ada, which is a 32 bit, 64 bit, which is you have in your system. Based upon that, you can able to click and download and it will start for download. Okay. Once it is download is completed, just you need to double click on that exe, then it will start for execution. Okay. Once you completed for the installation, you need to click for just click 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 next 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 then it is closed it okay once you successfully install just you can try for one time for npm iphone iphone version in your system open command prompt node iphone 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 version it will provide for your version once you got done for installation okay and now after that, what you have to do, and you need to search again Visual Studio Code Downloader. Okay, and you can able to get it for the top in the first. You can just click it and download for which version you want it. Okay, just click it and download and double click, and you can able to start for your programming structure. Okay, once you click on that, installation is done. No need to bother about that. Then what next? And we need to do it for installation for our Cypress. For Cypress installation purpose, you have to do it for Visual Studio Code Editor. You have to open. After opening, and you have to create a new folder. Okay. And the new folder I'm going to create. A, in this location, I'm going to create a new folder that is called a Cypress underscore MySQL. Okay, this is my folder. I'm going to opening this folder here. Just I'm clicking for file and I'm going to click for open folder. And then here is Cypress MySQL folder is I'm going to open. Okay, Once I open, it will look like this is a format. Okay, once you've done this one, just click on terminal and new terminal once you click the terminal and new terminal your page will be coming to down okay now here you have to do it for npm space in it okay just it will initialize your command okay it will start for installation just you can use the package name is the same just enter and version also you can able to use the same no problem and description you can able to use it for automation Testing for my SQL server. 
and just enter endpoint is not required you can able to mention it no need to bother about it and test command not required and git repository right now we don't have and you can keywords also don't have and the author i can able to mention for my name is okay and then just okay it's capital letter okay then license also isc no need to bother about it and then you need to mention for s once you mention the package will be come through here okay once the package has comes to you in this location you have to start for installation for cypress now okay for cypress installation you have to use for <coughs> the command is npm space install cypress space iphone iphone save iphone dev okay just hit it it will start for execution okay no need to bother about it it will start for installation just wait couple of minute it will start it will close it okay It is taking long time, don't worry. This completed, I guess. Sometimes it will take for more time, but it will uh, complete it. Maybe my system is struck due to that also it is happen okay time is doing a moment okay i done more time center that's why it is coming here okay now you can see this all the things are installation is done okay no need to bother about it remaining things okay now you have to open for npx space cypress open once you click your cypress will be open okay that is called a 12.10 is the uh, version it is showing okay just you can able to allow it so latest version 12.7 then why it is coming for 12.10 downgrading version okay no problem no need to bother about it okay the versions and choose for everything is okay okay no need to bother about it and come to here you can able to see all the browsers here start here okay and then you can uh, click for single epic creating a single epic and create the pic here okay you can run it and you can make it for here okay it will start execution one type of uh, sample example okay once it is started then you can just close it okay now your cypress is having for e to e fixes support and cypress.config.js and package.js these are the two okay now you can see here all the things are presented here and also you can able to see this is your node.js presented and these are the versions are presented okay that particular one okay and then what we need to do for the next step next step we need to install for mysql into your cypress then how to do it and here i am going to do for npm meanwhile i can able to make it for clear make that into top position then here npm space 
I I means installation my SQL space I find capital D just hit it it will start for installation okay now the package is installed here you can able to you can see here if you go for the package location if you go for down you can see here Cypress 12.10.0 is the version it is presented and my SQL is 2.18.1 version is installed in our system okay in the Cypress place but then what else we need to do we need a MySQL server into in your local system then what you have to do it for this I already installed and keep it something for uh, this one okay and you have to do it only one thing here you can able to search it my SQL download okay just click this download and it will comes to the top you can click it here and you will come to in this location okay downloader location yeah. installer and then you can able to click it for next one is this particular uh, installation community uh, place and here you have to choose for which one you want anyone you can able to click and you can able to start for installation okay one it is saying that the installer community and another one is web based community okay anyone you can able to choose it if you go for mysql installer with the community it will install into your local system you can't able to see for proper ui session okay if you choose the first one it will uh, open for web based community also okay and i installed for second one okay just click it and it will give you for one exe and then you need to click it for double uh, double click on that particular element once you click the double uh, double click on that exe it will give you this particular file you have to click for next okay after clicking for the next it will go for this particular page here okay you have to click for next or execute if you click the execution what will happen it will download for this all the packages into your system okay all the things it will start for uh, providing okay click on execution it will start for that once it is done you, you have to click for next configuration place and you will see for this particular window and click for the next again okay once you click for the next what will happen and here it will come to the another page to see here okay this configuration type and tcp and what is the port and what is your uh, mysql one everything it will display click on next here also again okay once you click the this one and it will comes to in this location okay choose the first one only and click on next okay then once you click on next it will comes to here at the password location you have to provide for password which is the password you are going to make it right that password you have to add it here some strong password or you can remembering password you have to create here once you create the password and just it will enabling you to click for the next button okay click the next and it will go send install and if you want to add some other users into this particular location you can click on add user and add to here also okay the rule which is the one we have right that also you can able to add it here no need to bother about it okay once you've done this one and it will comes to this page and click again pass uh, next okay here it will comes navigated and again uh, next and it will comes to in this location okay click on execution and it will start for execution okay once you click the execution it will start everything to install one more time okay re-updating it will complete for all the things are uh, done like all the execution is completed it will show you for finish just click on finish and complete your installation okay if it is showing for re-repetition for this entire page one more time means just click for okay but your username is root you have to remember that okay 
in case if it you you have like uh, your database is like click on above one okay cluster one checkbox and it will enable your password location just click so you provide your password and test the connection if it is working or not okay once you've done the all the things you can finish it once you finish it all the things will be completed okay this is a re-repetition time uh, when you click for like uh, you, when you search for here mysql workbench and it will show you for this login username and password okay login username and password it comes to you okay then you have to use it and click login and provide the execution and again it will show you one more time re-repetition okay all the steps one more time it will re-repeat and finish the installation okay it will give you successful to installation and everything okay and you have to finish and close that particular window no need to bother about it okay once installation is, is completed and there is one more tool that is called for ui checking purpose okay and entire things you need to check right for that db where database okay this is the database connectivity this is a free version no need to bother about it just click on downloader and here you can able to download for <clears throat> community version of windows this installer okay and this is a simple one no need to bother about it once installation is coming like uh, ex is coming if you click it will open for ui it's like a db where once you click the ex it will show like this only no need to bother no need to click for next 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 this all the things it will not comes to you okay it will take a couple of minutes to load actually because it's a free community for to communicate with any database okay and here you have to choose for database new database connection and click for any one of them which one you have in your local right based upon the in case if you have mysql click for mysql and click next and it will open for this page and your uh, basic server name is localhost 3306 in case if you have some server name is a different naming just you have to provide and you need to provide the port number and which is the database you want and you need to provide for password okay once you provide the password you have to click for test connection okay this test connection is established then click for finish you will get for this type of option my server is basically local host that's why it is showing here if we expand this particular one it will show you database users administrator and system information and the database if you expand you can able to see for the tables what all the database is presented in that particular uh, mysql that all the uh, things will be displayed here okay once you've done these two things and if you done the same here again we need to come to here okay this configuration one db configuration one i'll show you on next video session how to configure mysql now we installed for mysql and cypress and visual studio code and node.js okay this all the things we installed now but we are not done for configuration okay after configuration how it will works and we'll see in the next video session okay i hope it you understand this video please like me do please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you